Do you sometimes resent your child because they sit on the couch and yell at you to bring them things, even if the thing is directly next to them? For example, a TV remote and you're in the kitchen. Or for example, in order to eat, they have to be in front of an iPad or a screen. And then they say things like popcorn, pirate's booty, I'm thirsty, and you have to bring it to them. This is extremely common as an accommodation to support PDA kids to bring down their nervous system and decrease demand so they can actually access things like eating. But lowering the demands for them is introducing a very high demand on your life as a parent. For example, running back and forth like a maid from the kitchen to get them things at their whim, you can't get it like thought in edgewise because as soon as you settle to do something like eat your own meal you have to get up and serve them or reheat the pizza or reheat the popcorn i totally get it also because they're not sitting at the table you have to you know clean the couch all the crumbs you probably have to make different meals for them i totally get that this is a huge cost on you as a parent okay however the benefit may outweigh the cost One of the things that can be helpful for you to think about in order to lower some of the excess demands on you, not with your child because you can't change their nervous system, especially not in the moment, is to focus on other areas of your life where you're leaking energy or your own regulation that are under your control. So this might look like unfollowing that family on Instagram who is an old friend and who you love, but every time you look at their feed, you have like a nervous system reaction of rage because you're like, their life is so easy, I can't believe they're traveling and going out to dinner. Or it might be not responding to every text rated away because you have a history of people pleasing, codependency and fawning. Or it might just be allowing your house to be more messy than you expected and not beating yourself up over it. I hope that is helpful. These are the little tricks I use to live a more peaceful life while accommodating and raising a PDA child.